Let's see what the fuck's going on, man. Yeah, we back out with another one, man. Let's go with y'all, man. I don't know if y'all miss me, but yeah, this shit crossed, caught my eye. I ain't gonna lie. Charleston White get paid 30K for interview. This nigga is this controversial. He could charge 30? I'm in the wrong business, my nigga. I gotta start vocalizing more. Yo, speaking of that, because that was my next question. Um, you went to LA, you didn't check in. We posted it on Say Cheese, man. That shit got like 0.1 million. Real quick. I, I never, never understood, understood the concept of checking in. This is way before things was, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever they was doing, they thuggery. I don't get in tune. I don't really know what the fuck be going on. But never understood it. Never. I don't even know why niggas go to hoods, right? When they got bread. Don't make sense to me. Showing love is one thing, but you going from your hood as a nigga that got money to another hood about around a bunch of niggas that you don't you barely know is crazy to me. Doesn't make sense. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not in the streets. So why would it make sense to me? Million views. Uh so you were paid to go out there. Yeah, yeah, thirty thousand dollars. How how I mean thirty grand, how nah, show response is my mom. That's, that's what my mom did when I heard that. Figured that, that that wasn't a setup. Mm-hmm. I thought I knew it was, but nigga I keep telling these niggas I show up to the <laughs> nigga, you can book me for the. Fuck. Yeah, nigga, you just got to meet my fee. But see, here's the thing about it: if you, keep, I got half the money up front, and you going to jail, and I'm showing up with a team of motherfuckers, it's gonna be a wall. So, nigga, if I think it's a, I'm gonna put the price on it. He paid the price. Yeah, yes, yeah, a whole lot of nigga get for nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I show up. I keep. In less than nine months, I mean, Universal Tech is going to you a treaty for a holding career. Will you work? It makes sense, sense though. Nigga, book me for healing. I'm showing up. Take take us through that LA experience. So oh, you get half up front. When, when the nigga hit me, homie, this how this this what really made me think it was a setup because the nigga sent me five hundred dollars in cash out to send a message. He got my he got my cash out from an interview that Mama Duck was doing, talking about me, and she showed my cash out. He sent me my cash out and said, I got $30,000 for California. I got $15,000 for Atlanta. I said, God, boy, what are you trying to get me? That's my first thought. <laughs> Word. Because what? Um, what are you doing? But shit, nigga, $30,000, a lot of money in my world. <laughs> 30, 30 lodges. You got right You living good. good. Hell yeah, $30,000 worth dying over. Oh, I know some of them. All the insurance policy is just $30,000. So, Damn, man, it's worth the fuck? No. So, she got me. I hit my, I mean, I hit my detective. I hit Dow. Hit, hit my detective. Dow say, man, let me run it. Let me run it. I shoot it to my manager. My manager don't know this motherfucker and hit me with the $30,000 fee. We not trying to fuck over nobody. So, my manager get him the, my base fee. She said, he said, cool. I said, man, I ain't going to California for that. That's the base. Shit, I do that up the street. The nigga offered me 30000 She said he did. I sent her the screenshot of the cash. Oh, oh, she oh, said, well, oh. you should have seen Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what? See, that at first. I said, yeah, I know. God damn it, I know. <laughs> so... The, so we, I hit the nigga back and say, say, homie, look at it, man, I ain't doing none of that for a nigga. So the nigga was so player, I'm saying, man, these niggas got to be trying to set me up. He said, nah, man, uh, shit, that 30 still stands, because that's what I offer. Yo, Yo this, this nigga is making so, so much ruckus, niggas is willing to lose their fucking, fucking life to, to just get, get at him, bro. Offering, offering this nigga bread, bread coming at, like... I don't even think niggas, y'all niggas is lost. He's baiting y'all crazy. He's letting y'all know he's open to carry, he's bringing his pistol, and he's bringing the police. Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. He said, I think. Leave this man alone, bro. This old head, let him talk. Let him do whatever. He ain't touch you. He ain't do nothing to nobody you love. Leave this man alone, bro. Like, this is the same thing with 6ix9ine. Like, Y'all niggas is not going to do nothing to him, bro. Y'all niggas is not going to touch 6 9 but y'all want to do something to this old man. Let him talk on the internet, bro. I'm not even saying if I agree or I disagree with... Because I agree with some machines. I ain't going to lie. 
Some of you be saying, but that's like anybody on the internet, bro. You do not have to agree fully with every fucking thing, bro. But sometimes they hit valid points. Kevin Samuels was getting fucking perk. Yo, they was crucifying Kevin Samuels, bro. But at, he had split moments when he was talking shit. For the most part, I feel like a lot of times he was talking shit. It's just people didn't respect how he was saying. It wasn't what what he was saying kind of was, but it was really how he was saying. He was mad, blunt. He was open, like, and, uh, you feel me? Some, I, I do believe they could have kind of calm down on the joints, but some of them, I ain't gonna lie, they do be needing to hear certain shit, all right? So, it is what it is. But he was violating niggas the same way he's violating the joints, so, fair is fair. Uh, back to the 6 9 shit, niggas was not gonna do nothing to him. You know why? Because y'all, he's in the federal informant, or was at one point, or whatever the case may be, you're not, you know, brownie points for doing nothing to that nigga. It's over with, clip. This old head nigga, he is violating, though. Not even gonna take that with me, he's violating... <laughs> To a level, to a stature that is crazy. So I do understand the genuine consensus of something got to happen, but nothing really has to happen, bro. Cause he's he's activist. He's actually doing shit for the community. Probably more than a lot of you niggas. I don't even be thinking these niggas that he be talking about doing nothing for the community. He probably helping their homies and shit. So I respect that. But come on, bro. Leave this nigga alone, bro. That nigga's gonna end up in jail. What the fuck? I think he worth more than that. 30K, so I wasn't thinking all kind of shit. Hell yeah. Oh, they can hit me up on cash up. Show up for, it's crazy. got me up for this kind of money. I'm showing up for the killing. So uh, we get the contract together. Uh, He said, man, I got to go to the bank tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to wire transfer it. So we get the contract together. Uh, My my, my police partner hit me back Uh, and said, man, I don't think you should go. It might be it's looking like a setup. The house is woo 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 woo. Uh no nah, man. So uh Did he pay that up front fee is the question. Uh I heard him. I I'm listening to him talk. But nigga here's something in my real saying, man. Uh go nigga. Yeah, go go get the money and die. Them ho- them holidays coming up, man. So wait, nigga, I ain't thinking about the They holidays. didn't wire him the money he had to go get it. booking. Some holidays, nigga. I ain't th- I can't think past a thirty thousand dollar booking. Mm-hmm. Nigga, this this month a thirty thousand dollar booking, nigga. All I can hear is go, nigga. Please go for this money. So my nigga violent. tell me don't go. If it, yo, I know like that's part. It's sure. available in all fifty states. You look. And it comes the weed is smoking. Get the fuck off my screen. Bug it out. Strong up. I said, all right, man. You should. Sure it's coconut. I ain't gonna lie, but um. So the thirty thousand dollar fee, he has to go there to get the bridge. Or they wire him the upfront 15k and then he go collect the rest. Cause I ain't gonna lie, if I think it's a setup, I just won 15k. I'm gonna fake pull up and act like I'm gonna be on some UPS shit. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. I'm gonna pull up. Ah uh, shit, niggas ain't here. I'm out. Ah, I ain't even gonna go inside. I ain't gonna get out the UPS van. I'm just letting niggas think that I pulled up or I came in the spot and niggas was home when I was there. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> go pick y'all shit up from the post office. That's how I would have came. Right. Thirty thousand dollars though. That's damn. He fooling y'all I niggas. He man. Uh, my manager hit me back and said, "Man, I done looked him over. I done run this. I done run that. I done went looked at his Facebook page. I think he might be straight." I said, "Man, at this point, man, he he done sent the money. Fuck it." Oh, he already oh, sent, he sent it. The deposit. Hell yeah, he sent that seventeen thousand quickly. So I'm thinking, I really swearing up and down. Hey, bro. Because it's going too smoothly. So, nigga, uh, Ow. is this a killing? Who do you call? The you nigga that work. Police. Yeah. I need police security. Smart I'm nigga. going to California, man. I need your big dogs. I need some of them young niggas that don't like gang bangers, ready to put a nigga's ass in jail. And boy, he sent me two motherfucking me Olympic sized niggas. Oh, this boy, nigga sounds like Uncle Ruckus, Ruckus, bro. That's, that's not funny, bro. It's, it's just crazy, bro. It's, it's funny how that shit sounds. Boy, they had them yeah. big guns. Oh, yeah. Uh, come on, dude. That's how I'm coming, coming to. Vibe and get bread. Nigga, you in this with me. Big niggas. Come on, nigga. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? saying? These rappers be scared to look like a bitch. Fuck y'all niggas. My life is more than all of that shit. 
This jewelry, these clothes, all this shit could get replaced, nigga. My well-being, my safety, my sanity, my health. You feel me? I get back to the crib, to the fam. That's important. You niggas worry about being pussies instead of worried about being alive. It's stupid, niggas, bro. I don't know who raised you, niggas. Your life is above all else. Self-preservation does not make you pussy. Are you dumb, nigga? But that, you know what I'm saying, niggas... Brought up differently. Y'all niggas want to look tough. I want to look alive. <laughs> you know what I mean? But word. Matter of fact, that's that's type of greedy. No disrespect to the, you feel me? But some of y'all, y'all just, the mindset, my nigga, y'all gotta switch that shit up, bro. Oh, uh, my manager, she riding oh, that. I came off low. Oh, my you know uh, that all right, bro. Nigga, we in it with you, so they ride or die. Damn. Oh, uh, my assistant, she, she. You already got the seventeen k. So, uh, nigga, everything was strategically oh, mapped out. Uh, we get to the airport. Uh, but the only thing about it, uh, my law enforcement uh, team had to come from uh, another part of the country. So uh, uh, they booked me an early flight. The first month in the morning, five in the morning to LA. They be, so, nigga, uh, I had to wait for them. Mm. Uh, the At the drive, airport. Listen, nigga, the driver out there waiting on me. They waiting on us. I got to wait at the terminal for them, hoping don't nobody in LA spot me. So yeah, that was uh, that was kind of nerve wracking. Uh, nigga wasn't scared. Uh, was in the airport, but I know in the airport, nigga ain't got no gun. And nigga ain't, ain't squabble like a motherfucker. That's a I ain't gonna lie, niggas ain't even bold enough to do nothing at the airport. Only niggas that's bold enough to do shit at the airport is the reason why the airport is how the airport is. And if, if you know, you know. But you do some shit at the airport, nigga. Bring a gun, scuffle two. Cr- you niggas is finished, bro. It's no nigga alive that wanna hurt you that bad in the hood to where you gonna come in the airport and do some some egregious shit to you unless you done violated like astronomically. Like you done violated to a level or plateau that niggas it is what it is. And that is it's not happening, bro. So you say that's federal right there. Yeah, exactly, exactly nigga. Rat packing and gang banging in the airport. Come yeah, on, you have five niggas by, flying. By anything, by most uh, niggas know you there and they alert another yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah, five you gang banging saying? niggas that know how to fight. That's dangerous in the airport all at one time. You had to put that in the movie. You never see it in real life. Never, bro. So, never, bro. Uh, so we like, sitting what? in the airport. I got the mask on. Smart nigga. Nigga, uh, the weather go bad, so they get delayed. Damn. Nigga, I'm out there just a sitting duck for two hours. I mean, uh, okay, it's all uh, kind of motherfuckers uh, trying to look and see, but I ain't, yeah, yeah, so uh, so they finally come, but after about an hour and a half, I'm calling now, man, where y'all at? Say, man, I hate being a sitting duck. Man, y- y'all say, man, y'all done booked me wrong, so now I'm mad, cause, yeah, but it was a delay. So when we get there, uh, I'm walking through the airport, man, uh, my head was down, uh, Hey, the people of Discovery Channel came to me and asked me to do the impossible. Go undercover and show. I looked at their feet to follow them uh, so nobody could get a glimpse. Uh, Get outside, get immediately in a a bulletproof vehicle. Uh, And shit, nigga, we went to Disneyland. (laughs) Uh, We know it ain't dangerous at Disneyland. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) This This nigga is funny, bro. We stayed at Disneyland. He be saying some funny funny shit, bro. So 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 here so here's the danger, right? We're here for two days. We don't know what's what now. What? Uh yeah, yeah, nah, we, we don't know what's what. So you booked the trip, bro, for, for two days and you gave you made seventeen K all rip you really walk, walking over with thirty, so fifteen one day, fifteen the next. But niggas gave you over your 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 front you got the front end for seventeen. So, so worst come to worst, you don't get the other half. Oh, oh, yeah, you don't get the other half, nigga. You made off for 17 in two days, nigga. I know niggas who don't make that again. I don't know them. I lot, I know a few. But that's the, like, come on, bro. I got to start speaking more. Like, maybe I'm not talking about the right shit. Maybe the joints be telling me they like my voice. Y'all let me know what y'all, you know what I'm saying? Because 30K to come speak or do a podcast, I don't know what you was pulling up for, bro. That's crazy. So... Uh, nigga, I, I literally, <laughs> uh, nigga, I literally got security outside the door. Of course. That's what uh, the fuck are they there for, nigga? They really treat me like a hostage. Yeah, yeah, that mad in the motherfucker treat me like a hostage. Nigga, I can't leave and go and move how I want. Nigga, you ain't want to anyway. Yeah, they treat me like a hostage. I said, man, I don't like this shit. Hell no, nah, man, I'd rather 
But I was just talking. Yeah, I was just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know, nigga. <laughs> we know, nigga. You wouldn't talk too much shit about gangs in LA to be out there and, and think shit sweet. Come on now. Yeah, I could. Yeah, now, nah, so, homie, so when we get there, mm-hmm. uh, Norton, they got to get some weed. Uh, part of food. my rider is, you know, nigga, I have me some weed uh, and my food. Nigga, we go straight. They take me straight to the Rolling 60s neighborhood to get some weed, but I don't get out the car. Of course not. I go straight not, to Crenshaw man. to get some weed. Oh. Nigga, take us deep off in the hood to get some weed. Uh, the driver is from there, uh, but he, but he SA, uh, but, but he was hired uh, through our people uh, from that way. So everything was... Uh, that that nigga said from that way. way. That, that nigga's locked, locked in. in. Locked in. Got, got the, the SA driver, driver in the, in the, in the Roman 60s hood. He volleyed in this shit. He be talking crazy about stuff. Everything was... Uh, Niggas is locked in. Blow this shit nigga head off. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Word. Uh, yeah, I was moving like like the president, homie. I, I would. Was, uh, just, That's how I'm moving. I probably paid... I probably paid right at, right at 10000 I ain't gonna say ten, uh, But nigga, I paid close to ten. Uh, so damn, so you really only made off for like seven. Uh, so two days, we seven days. We get to the hotel. Uh, they was having this big convention at, at this hotel. So it was a lot, of, like a lot of teachers, a lot of doctors, a lot of nurses. They was having a cri- big Christmas, like a two two day Christmas party. Uh, I never got spotted. I never got noticed. Uh, so we drive out, probably. 15 minutes outside of LA, Orange County somewhere. Uh, very affluent home, uh, pool in the backyard. Oh, uh, suburban, uh, maybe. Grape trees, uh, a gated, gated house. Hmm. Uh, security, shit, man, security went through the house on the roof. Damn! Damn, niggas, niggas is going, going through, through niggas, niggas cribs, checking the sides, sides, hitting the roof. These are the niggas I want on my team, bro. When, when you step, step out, you want niggas like that, bro. They, they are literally taking care of you, my nigga. Like, like to the extreme. So all that 10K, whatever the fuck he paid, he got his money's worth. This nigga's here right now a lot. These niggas might have been an ex-military, a retired military, or whatever the fuck. These niggas is moving real. Sturdy, I ain't gonna lie. The backyard. Uh, so the whole time during the interview, security was outside. Oh, it was an interview. interview. Okay, okay. okay, I made a miss out of the beginning. Uh, say, homie, I ain't never made. I think me and the guy probably talked maybe five hours. Damn. Five hours for thirty thousand dollars, nigga. Do you hear that? Five. Two days in LA, you made thirty thousand dollars, and the only thing you had to do was speak for five fucking hours. What? This nigga speaks for less and speaks as often as possible for free, nigga. Yeah. Yo, I, I'm just saying, bro. I need to start maybe just talking shit or something, bro. Like, I mean, I don't want the, the negative. You know what I mean? But, bro, five hours. The first day we did a two. Two hour interview. Oh, I see. Work hour interview. Uh, he had his daughter. Uh, prior going to there, my, my team went and got the back end. So the money. So, so he ain't about to beat it to pick that the shit. The money people seeing me show on, online, that was that was the back end money. Uh, so 17 up front, and then that, that, that was the back end. Uh, so they went to go get the back end, really just to check everything out. So they came back, said, yeah, man, he got his kids there, he got his daughter there. Uh, his family there seemed, seemed like a family man. Uh, he was nervous to meet me. Uh, he really didn't have all this question together. He don't even have a podcast. He getting ready to start a podcast. He don't even have a YouTube channel. But he want to get this footage. Oh, so I'm, that 30000 was an investment. I got you. That, I mean, this, that, when that video dropped, well, that shit's probably going to go viral for the simple fact that you paid that nigga thirty. And then, that, that was an I mean, that is an investment, bro. I mean, yo, shouts out to him. This nigga for being smart and not taking, you know what I'm saying, checking all aspects of that shit. Hopefully nothing happens to Sunday in L.A. Because you throwing that, giving this nigga a platform to speak on, they already don't like him. But, you know what I'm saying, Godspeed to all of them, man. Shout out to 
I don't know, know man. Hopefully, one day I'll be 30,000 in two days. God damn. Yo, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. We'll be back with another one, man.